Awesome. How's everybody doing? Thank you so much for being here for our second in-person FFDC. It's so amazing seeing so many amazing faces and familiar faces here. Now, today I'm going to be chatting about crafting exceptional product experiences. My name is Will Hobbick, and I am the lead product designer here at Flutterflow. Now, I wanted to throw up a photo of last year's FFDC because I think this is a great point to reflect on, how much the community has grown, how many new users we have on the platform. At this time last year, we had around 600,000, and now we're at 1.6 million. So give that a hand. That is phenomenal. I've really had the, the chance of a lifetime working alongside so many people. And actually, three months ago, I transitioned from working on the growth team to that lead product design role. And it's honestly really showed me how empowering the platform continues to be. As you saw in the keynote, we're entering an exciting new era at Flutterflow with so many awesome new features. But with all this potential at our fingertips, the question becomes, how can we use these tools not just to build faster, but to build better? Today, I want to focus on exactly that. How can we use Flutterflow to build exceptional product experiences? Because yes, it's one thing to add features, but it's another to design in a way that leaves a lasting impact. Whether it's through consistency, intuitive feedback, or the way we take responsibility for the overall user journey. I want to share some practical techniques that will help you elevate your designs, but also build apps that connect your users. Before we discuss the steps to crafting that exceptional product experience, I think it's important that we define what an exceptional product experience really is. Because when we talk about products that people love, we're not just talking about something that works. We're talking about something that connects people, that solves problems effortlessly and fit so seamlessly into their lives that they cannot imagine living without it. To illustrate this, I actually want to go right down the street to the New York Public Library. Now, if you happen to be here for a few days after the concert, I'd really encourage you to stop by and give it a look. You step inside, and immediately the experience begins. It's not just the books, or the architecture, or the silence. It's the feeling you get entering that library. Everything is designed with a purpose. None of this is accidental. Every element, down to the placement of a chair or the texture of the walls, it's been thought through to create an environment to really promote learning and reflection. But now let's imagine a very different library, one where there's books, but they're scattered, or there's shelves, the lighting is poor, right? It's a scary library. It's overwhelming to users. Now, this is the difference between great product design and poor product design, right? In a well-designed library, everything is intentional. It serves a purpose. But in the chaotic one, everything exists, but nothing truly works together. Just like in product design, the experience isn't about having features for the sake of having them, right? It's about having those features and, and how they come together to create that seamless and cohesive experience. Today, I want to walk you through three actionable steps to guide your process to creating an exceptional product experience. The first two will be practical, hands-on advice that you can take away to immediately elevate your designs in Flutterflow. But the third is about something bigger. It's about the responsibility we have as designers or developers to make sure that what we build isn't just functional, but truly meaningful, that it truly serves a purpose. The first principle in creating an exceptional product experience is to curate consistency. Because here's the truth. Consistency is what builds trust in your product. When your design is predictable, it becomes seamless. It turns, an experience that people, it turns an experience from one that people normally have to struggle through to one that they don't have to think about. 
And in Flutterflow, there's a few simple ways that we can make sure your design stays consistent and therefore builds trust in the application with your users. And the first is simplifying your color palette. A cluttered color palette with too many colors can create visual chaos. We've all experienced poor apps that are overwhelming with colors. When you start a new Flutterflow app, start with just a few sets of colors, maybe a primary color or secondary color or some accent shades. This immediately gives your app a unified feel. And you can see that in the screenshots here, where we've only used about four to five colors and the screens look pretty cohesive across the board. Flutterflow's theme editor is an easy way to lock in those colors to use them consistently throughout your application. Next, think about reusing design patterns that work well for your users. If you find yourself building the same button styles or cards or layout, it's probably a sign to convert those into components. In Flutterflow, it's easy to create components, ensuring that every time a user interacts with familiar elements, they need to be experiencing the same level of polish throughout your entire application. And it's really about creating a product that feels cohesive across every screen. Finally, focus on the small things, like padding or spacing. These might seem like minor details, but when they're inconsistent, it throws off the entire user experience. Now, if you look at these screenshots, the one on the left might look small, right? There's small padding issues, but in reality, across the entire application, this would create a very terrible user experience. So try to use standardized padding throughout your design. Also try to take advantage of Flutterflow's alignment tools. Use things like item spacing or start and end spacing in columns or rows. Stop adding padding to every widget individually. Now, at this point, I know what you might be thinking. These are obvious suggestions, and you're right. But we all know the importance of color. We all know the importance of a design system or spacing, but here's the real challenge. Very few people actually take these principles seriously enough to apply them appropriately every single time. It's one thing to understand these best practices, but it's another to execute on them flawlessly. Too often we fall into the trap that we could cut corners, that maybe that extra color uh, that we set explicitly doesn't really matter, or that adding padding that's just a little off between pages doesn't affect the user experience, but it does. These small things matter. Here's the takeaway. We're not just creating products, we're creating experiences. And I'm gonna repeat that over and over today because I think that's extremely important. Every time you use consistency to build trust through a clean color palette, a familiar components, or a proper spacing, you're creating an app that feels reliable, professional, and intuitive. Users won't have to think twice while navigating your application. Next is providing feedback. Because when we talk about crafting exceptional user experiences, it's not just about how something looks. It's how users feel while using that application. And feedback is what keeps them connected to that experience. Imagine you click a button, and you wait, and wait, and nothing seems to happen. There's no loading spinner, no progress bar. You're left wondering if the app even registered your action, right? It's like if I were in the middle of this presentation and just stopped. Pretty awkward, right, for both me and you. That's why clear feedback is essential to keeping your users engaged. In Flutterflow, you can easily add things like loading states or empty states to let users know that something's happening in the background. Because again, it's not just functionality, it's about keeping them informed and reassured. Haptic feedback and system messages are also another great way to reassure your users by adding maybe a small success dialogue, or in this case, creating an account. Now, speaking of feedback, let's talk about animation. While a bit of animation can enhance the experience, long or unnecessary animations can really take away from the user experience. Think about our phones. 
They're second nature to us. When you pull out your phone, how quick you navigate to an app or even switch between them to find information. Now, take the presentation, right? If every time I was switching between slides, how unbelievably frustrating would it be if you had to wait for this long, drawn out animation to complete before the next slide appeared? It'd be frustrating for me and you, and it'd be a hell of a long conversation. In Flutterflow, keep animations short and to the point. Let them guide users and don't make them wait. We're not just designing for looks, we're designing to keep users engaged and get it out of their way. At the end of the day, again, we're not creating interfaces, we're crafting experiences. Providing clear feedback ensures that your users feel connected to those experiences, whether it's a well-placed loading state or a short animation. Now, let's talk about something that we as developers and designers have more control over than we realize. And this is one I really want you to focus on. As designers and developers, we're not just builders. We're responsible for the experiences we create and the impact that those experiences have on others. It's not enough to simply deliver a working product. We need to ensure that what we build is meaningful, ethical, and usable for everyone. In today's world, we're fortunate enough to have platforms like Flutterflow that allow us to build faster than ever before. And if you've spent any time on social media recently, messages like these might seem pretty familiar. Yes, the speed which we, which, which we can create is remarkable, but in many ways, it's also transformative. And in all honesty, this is the power of Flutterflow. But here's the challenge. Speed is not the only goal with the platform like Flutterflow. Speed is a tool. It allows us to iterate, refine, and bring our ideas, ideas to life quickly. It should never come at the expense of thoughtful, responsible design. When we focus solely on speed, we risk sacrificing quality, and that's where responsibility comes in. We have to hold ourselves accountable, not just to meet deadlines uh, or to you know, ship the next feature. We need to ensure that the products we create are truly exceptional. And this brings me to a critical point. When you raise the bar on your designs in Flutterflow, you're not just helping yourself. You're helping everyone. Let me explain. Every time you prioritize thoughtful design, you're raising the standard for the community, for your clients, for agencies, for the Flutterflow platform itself. You're pushing the boundaries of what can be done, and in doing so, you're inspiring others to do the same. Think about the last time you designed a product. Would you submit it to the Flutterflow team? Would this empower us to think that the platform we're creating is truly empowering you to build the best products? Ultimately, what you design should be helping the entire ecosystem flourish. Responsibility means caring about the work that you put out into the world. It means recognizing that each design decision you make doesn't exist in isolation. It's a part of a larger system, a system where your choices ripple outward, affecting the user, the community, and even the future of the Flutterflow platform itself. Our goal should be to balance the power of these tools with the responsibility to create something that truly matters, because when we do so, something amazing happens. We all get better. Our product gets better, our community gets better, and the platform we build on gets better. And that's the kind of progress that benefits everyone. So as you move forward, I challenge you to go beyond the features. Go beyond the deadlines. Focus on elevating the experience for your users. Create products that not only work, but truly resonate. Products that solve problems and inspire. When you design with intention, you're not just making an app. You're making an impact. So as you leave here today, remember, what you create today shapes the experiences of tomorrow. Let's raise the bar, not just for ourselves, but for everyone who uses the products we create. Thank you.